The Marine Corps is known as our country's finest fighting force, and to be in fighting form, Marines have some of the most intense fitness regiments. But what about the strength of their minds? Tonight in part one of our series, I took a look at how recruits are conditioned both physically and mentally from day one of boot camp. You might have heard about the difficult physical aspects of Marine Corps training. Long uphill hikes, pull-ups, the bayonet assault course, and even martial arts. But recruits and drill instructors can agree on one thing. The most difficult part of boot camp training is the mental mentality. It's all mental. It's not as much physical as you think, but it's all mental. Two by two, bus after bus arrives at MCRD San Diego, filled with recruits about to begin the longest boot camp out of America's armed services. And it's lights off, heads down. From the first minute of their 13-week journey, the conditioning process begins. And that is where the drill instructor comes into play. Minimum, we just, you know, demanded them from, from the jump. We let them know that we're here to make them Marines. And to be successful, the recruits must quickly learn how to think and how to respond. Do you understand? Yes, sir! From the minute they get off the bus, they get the yellow footprints. We explain to them what the basic position of attention is. So I tell them, put your feet at Y45, put your heels here like such. And I tell them, grab the steering wheel, I have them lock their arms out. And I tell them, put their thumbs on top of their hands. And from there, I tell them, with a the tight fist, you're going to put your hands in your, your trousers and with the chest up high your chin out with confidence. If the command isn't executed properly, the recruits must do it over and over until it's done right. The main purpose is that we try to instill instant obedience to orders. It's very important to their career as a Marine. It could save their lives. That teaches them um, how to do something right. I want you to pick it up a certain way. I want you to pick it up with your left hand. I want you to pick it up with your index finger, your thumb. I want you to do what you're supposed to do, how you're told to do it. Next, recruits are ushered into the contraband room, leaving almost everything they brought from the civilian world behind, except the clothes on their backs and important documents. Everything else thrown to the ground, literally. No! He said not to pick anything up! With war bags in hand filled with basic items like shaving cream, recruits will place a scripted phone call to one person of their choice. Those recruit power uh, right said that I'm GRD San Diego. Make sure that contact you will be by postal mail. So it's a letter in two or three weeks. I love you. Goodbye. And the barbers are waiting, clippers poised, heads are shaved one by one, and at this point, recruits have been up for about 24 hours. Wait, that guy. Some more. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And it's not over yet. It's Monday night and the recruits won't crawl into bed until tomorrow at 9 p.m. And drill instructors say that's when the real work begins. Tomorrow on your TV6 Early and Late News casts, how drill instructors mentally prepare recruits to overcome the physical obstacles they're going to encounter at boot camp and what they do to get them ready for their biggest challenge, the crucible. Had a sneak peek of that. It is not easy. Units. It isn't, no. And, uh, you know, it takes a lot, like I said, mentally just to get through um, all that. Right, just ahead, Carl Bonnet.